What is up YouTube? Clickwood here back again with some Madden 15 Ultimate Team information and it is Saturday guys which means that there are new legends in Madden 15 Ultimate Team and as you guys can see on your screen the two items that they're adding to the game Steve Young and Reggie White definitely two of the most sought after players I would certainly say some of the better players that we've seen so far introduced into the game so what I want to do is hop in and show you guys a couple of the attributes that these guys have now this is according to the EA Sports website I'm putting together this video before the items actually drop but the video shouldn't be up until they drop so hopefully you guys will actually have a chance to open these in packs today uh, and of course I want to wish everybody good luck with doing that because these like I said are some awesome items so let's take a look here the very first item Steve Young 98 overall quarterback awesome yes this is an awesome card guys this is one of the true dual threat quarterbacks that you're gonna find in Madden 15 ultimate team 90 speed out of a quarterback not many quarterbacks are higher than that of course you've got like your RG threes I think there's a throwback uh, Colin Kaepernick from Madden 25 there's a couple Cam Newtons then I think Terrell Pryor is tied with it at 90 speed um, maybe a Mike Vick. You don't very not very many items though that have higher speed than this at the quarterback position. Oh, and then of course Antonio Brown, which was introduced the other day as well. Uh, the Antonio Brown out of position quarterback item. That one is a little bit faster than Steve Young. But the thing is, is that those items that I talked about there, almost all of them don't have anywhere near this good of passing attributes. So when you look at the things like the 97 throw accuracy short, the 94 throw accuracy medium, and the 93 throw accuracy deep, it is hard to beat that. Those are some awesome attributes. He is certainly going to be able to put the ball on the money. He also has 93 throw power. So he is definitely a great passing quarterback with the ability to take off and run. So I, I am definitely in love with this card. You definitely can't run with your quarterbacks as much in Madden 15 as you could in Madden 25. But still, this is this is certainly what, one of the absolute best quarterback cards that we are going to see all year, in my opinion. And it's certainly one of the best ones that they have put out so far. Um, one other attribute, too, that I wanted to point out, his 90 elusiveness. The only item that has higher than that at quarterback out of the elusiveness attribute is the Antonio Brown. So unless you're looking at that, which again, doesn't really have great throwing stats, uh, you're looking at, def at certainly one of the better uh, running quarterbacks that you're going to see in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. And then, man, he's still got those awesome throwing attributes as well. So yeah, go out there and try and find this thing, guys. This is going to be one of the better quarterback items. I have a feeling it's going to go for quite a bit of coinage. The only problem with Steve Young, as it always has been in Madden, he's a lefty. And if you're not used to using left-handed quarterbacks, because, you know, most quarterbacks in the NFL are right-handed, just like most people are right-handed, um, it becomes a little bit difficult at first. When you first make that trans transition from a right-handed quarterback to a left-handed quarterback, it's a lot more difficult than you would think. When you start rolling out and things like that and you're throwing on the run, you can't throw on the run running to your right with a left-handed quarterback. It will not work out well for you, I'm telling you. You're going to have to switch how your plays are set up. And uh, I've been telling people about that for a few years now. Some people still just don't believe me. They just go out there and try and throw on the run with their left-handed quarterback running to the right like they normally do, and it does not work out well. A lot of times you get that weird animation where it's almost like they turn around, and that is not good because that usually means the pass is going to be horribly thrown. So be, be paying attention to that, of course, if you go out there and get that Steve Young. Make sure that you go in and practice with him a little bit in head-to-head, -head, or uh, in a solo challenges, excuse me, before you hop into head-to-head -head seasons with him. Just get used to how he runs and, and kind of how he plays for you before you end up playing him in an actual head-to-head -head seasons game that really matters. So we got through Steve Young. Let's take a look now at Reggie White. Reggie White, this is an awesome item as well. Uh, certainly one of the best defensive ends that has been added into the game. He is also 98 overall, 6 foot 5, 81 speed, 90 acceleration. So he's decently fast. He's not slow, but you know he's not like the super hyper fast Jadavion Clowney cards or anything like that. But he is going to be able to get after the quarterback because he has the things that we look for in a defensive end. And if you guys have seen my budget series, we talk about this. The three most important attributes to me out of a defensive end when somebody when you're trying to find somebody to get after the quarterback or to stop the run even strength block shedding and power move and the reason for that is because of course strength is going to matter because you're going to go up against your opposing player's strength and that that attribute versus the other attribute they kind of go head to head and then block shedding 
and finesse move or power move. So the reason I say f finesse move or power move is because it doesn't really matter which one that your player is better at, as far as I can tell anyway. I haven't been able to determine that either finesse move or power move is better, but I will tell you this. When you do a power move or a finesse move, it's basically an animation that triggers. And the better that your item is at that, the better that they're gonna do against the opposing player's pass block or run block attribute, depending on the play that they decide to run. So the higher that that is, the better it's gonna be, the quicker they're gonna be able to get off their block along with the block shed and the strength. And this item is awesome at all three of those. 99 for power move. Guys, that is the highest in the game. No defensive end has a higher power move. And then you add on that 95 block shed and 95 strength. You have one of the most dominant defensive ends that is going to be in this game. There really aren't many attributes that they could do to make it better unless they start throwing in the 105 overall attributes like they did in Madden 25, which I'm still hoping that they don't do. But it, based off the fact that this is a 98 overall item and we're only in December, I have a feeling that we're going to see some items that go up uh, over that 100 point threshold at some point. So... Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this quick review of the items that are going into the game today. Again, good luck to everybody. I hope that you guys are able to pull these items. If you do pull either of them, please let me know in the comment section below. And in advance, I want to congratulate you for it because you probably made a ton of coins. Or if you end up keeping them, you are going to get an awesome item. So congratulations on that. Thank you, guys for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you're new to the channel, also be sure to press the subscribe button so that you know when I put out a new video. Thank you guys again, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.